distributed databases. There are two different kinds of distributed databases, homogeneous and heterogeneous. So let's say that Company A is a grocery store that has five locations in southern Wisconsin. Each of the five locations has a local database, and all five utilize the same database using the same interface and software. At the end of each day, the database is updated. This is known as a homogeneous distributed database management system. This works well for our grocery store locations because they are mostly making local database transactions. In this type of system, there is no exclusive local data. Now let's say that company B is a manufacturing company that sells car parts internationally. Some locations with the same databases, but two or more of those locations may have a different version of the database that only contains the relevant local data at that location. Some of the other locations also use different software and operating systems. Because of the geographical distance between locations, using this system will cut down on global data queries and drastically lower communication costs. There are several shared characteristics of all distributed database management systems. They all have databases that are located at different network sites. They all have location transparency, replication transparency, and fragmentation tra transparency. When a distributed database management system has local transparency, it means that the user of the database is unable to tell where the information they are querying is originating. When a distributed database management system has replication transparency, it means that the user of the database is unaware that data they are accessing may have been copied or updated, and this may have caused issues with inconsistency. The user will not encounter any of these issues or problems with replication. When a database management system has fragmentation transparency, it means that the user is unable to tell if some of the information that they are accessing is from a local database or a remote database. There are many types of companies that would use distributed databases in the real world. Companies that have locations that are located far apart geographically, for example, one location in New York and one location in San Francisco. Real world examples of companies that use distributed databases include international car companies such as Kia, banks such as BMO Harris, and insurance companies such as Allstate. Any organization that has various offices which are located across the country or around the world. Companies with a lot of e-commerce or online traffic such as Amazon, Best Buy, and Craigslist also use distributed databases. There are many important reasons that an organization would decide to use a distributed database strategy. Often an organization may choose this database strategy because it offers more control of data locally. Other advantages of this strategy include improved database capability and performance, as well as a more system availability. I think the most important factor to most companies would probably be cost cutting and cutting down on data transfer costs. Another very important aspect to consider would be the amount of information that's being requested from the database and the number of users of the database. For example, services such as Facebook and Google must use distributed databases because one computer can never possibly handle the amount of queries that these services receive from their millions or even billions of users. It is also extremely important to users and customers that the database is accessible at all times. So if one node goes out, it will not take the whole system down with it. There are several practical reasons why an organization would have a heterogeneous distributed database management system. 
Advantages of this type of database management system include continuous operation and more autonomy locally. Organizations may also choose this type of system so they can have continuous operation of the database. Allocating data to different sites rather than distributing the entire database globally can reduce communication and data costs and replications. It can also decrease the amount of irrelevant information that is accessed by applications. For these reasons, examples of companies that may use or may benefit from using heterogeneous distributed database management systems are Walmart, US Bank, ExxonMobil, Apple, and BP. In my experience with computing, it is quite difficult to completely follow dates rules for distributed databases, particularly rules 9 through 12. Through my research, it seems that these rules are more like guidelines for databases, and rules 9 through 12 are also somewhat general, and it appears that there's only partial compliance with dates rules at this time. Open source distributed database management systems have various features and usage. With open source distributed database management systems, users can run the program regardless of their purpose. With the open source software, users are at liberty to run, copy, distribute, study, change, and improve the software. This open source software is appealing to companies because of cost savings. Popular open source distributed database management systems are not exactly completely free. Users will still need to pay for ongoing support and critical software that will help the, make the management and implementation of the open source software easier. Open source distributed database management systems are widely used for certain enterprises but they still don't have the reputation to be used in companies such as in healthcare or hospitals that require the use of mission-critical software. These types of companies still rely on commercial software systems rather than open source. Some of these closed-source databases include Oracle, Microsoft SQL, and IBM DB2. In Grace, Enterprise DB, Apache Cassandra, are all examples of open source distributed database management systems. The top open source distributed database management systems currently are MongoDB, Redis, Cassandra, PostgreSQL, and Elasticsearch. Many of these growing up Many of these growing open source databases are using a non-SQL approach in favor of a less structured, but faster and easier to update databases. In recent years, open source distributed database management systems have become almost as popular as the traditional solutions such as Oracle.